people don't understand how exhausting this is to be 23 and having sore feet every single night, working two jobs. Across Virginia, thousands of workers wake up each morning, put in long hours, and do our most essential jobs. I'm still fighting to choose between school or putting food in my fridge. It's exhausting. It's honestly not fair at all. These workers dream of getting ahead to go back to school or improve their careers. Every day is a choice for me of if I'm going to pay my phone bill or if I'm gonna get groceries. Nine out of 10 workers who would benefit from a higher minimum wage are over 20 years old. Most are women and many are people of color. There's been so many times where I have literally felt like I wanted to collapse on the ground and just give it all up. These are the faces of the Virginia workforce. I'm struggling every day still with two jobs. Um, I use loans through my bank, which is bringing down my credit at my age. This isn't just about numbers. Virginians deserve dignity, respect, and just being treated fairly. Glenn Youngkin vetoed a raise in the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He would rather give corporations a tax cut than help Virginia's working families. A few things that would change if the minimum wage was raised. I would be able to go back to school. I wouldn't have to take out loans and have to go paycheck to paycheck um, just to even put groceries in my fridge. Virginia workers deserve better. They deserve a living wage, one that reflects the value of their hard work. It's time to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour together. We can ensure every Virginian has the opportunity to thrive, not just survive.